Good morning, it's Fair Sue. I am going to show you quickly how I'm going to do my bun in half a pack down style. Um, as you can see, my hair survived the night with the Ebony Curls e bonnet, but what it didn't survive is my son's breakfast. He found my Bantu knot sticking out and he decided to pull it down. But as you can see, the Bantu knot preserved my wand curls beautifully. I'm so excited. One less thing to have to worry about this morning. So I will untie my Ebony Curls e bonnet. And as you can see, the uh, other Bantu knot is preserved. And I can just take that and separate it gently with my fingers because I don't want to cause any frizz. I'm just gently detangling this with my fingers. Smoothing it down. And I'll do the same on the other side. And I like to use the fabric covered elastics when I do my Bantu knots. Okay. So, so the back. Is done and styled. And I can move on. So that took no time whatsoever. So now we'll work on the bun in the top. Okay, and again, I used another fabric elastic. But now what I'm going to use to make the bun is a silicone. Oh, and just to show you, part of my organization is like I just have this little bowl and as I do my styles throughout the week I just keep whatever accessories I am using inside of the bowl so that way I have easy access to them and I don't have to dig in a drawer or anything like that so um so since I have my hair separated already in the section I'm just going to smooth my edges up into the ponytail and then I'm going to use a silicone band. Now I prefer the silicone bands to the fabric bands because they have no seam. I've noticed that sometimes in the bands with the seam that my hair can get tangled up and um, tied into it I can show you what I'm talking about this little seam right here it can uh, get my my hairs can wrap around that little seam and get snagged and break off and get pulled out and I just really don't like that so um, that's why I've now I've switched over to exclusively using just the um, the silicone ones that have no seam and I find that I definitely lose less hairs in the process of removing the ponytail band. Now I'm not gonna do this very tight but since it is a small section of hair I'm gonna wrap it around three times and that's plenty. And I just give it a gentle little tug because I get headaches easily so I don't like to make it too too tight. And so here is the bun maker that I'm going to use. I just pull my hair through the center and find the center of it and wrap the hair around. Pull it down. And so now what I'll do is I'll just take my hairs and wrap them around the bun maker. and then stuff in the ends. And so, as you can see, the bun maker, it's completely hidden. And I just smooth the edges up. And then I will use some black bobby pins to just go around the style.
Okay, so my hair is styled and ready for the day. I'll just give it a quick look in the back with the mirror. See how I like how it looks? And I do, it's, it's perfectly fine by me. And so my hair is styled, it's done for the day. Um, I will take a little bit of oil, a couple squirts into my palm and make sure I get my ends really good. So that way they'll be protected for the day. And you can use oil or ends butter at this point in the style. And now I am good to go. So I hope that you guys will have a great day. And that, uh, I don't know, kind of inspired to do something good for your hair. Alright, have a good one. Bye.